Okay, let's talk about what happened. So I just recently hit 2000 subscribers and I wanted to celebrate it with a special video. Though, as you can see, um, this didn't go so well. Is this fish or is it a bit? No! My shoulder. I completely dislocated my left shoulder. You're probably wondering how it came about. Well, instead, let me share my story with you. So my girlfriend and I took some days off to visit the scene, which is located in the south part of Switzerland, close to the borders of Italy. One of the most spectacular places in Tessin is the Versasca Valley. There's a bridge called Pontai dei Salti, I hope I said that right, which is also known as the Romanic Bridge. Really great place to swim with crystal clear water. We had a great time over there and before we left, we walked over that bridge one more time. Now I saw a lot of people jumping from that bridge. I looked down at the river and it was pretty high. It has been a long time since I jumped from such a height. That was back in my younger days. Damn, I sound old. Anyways, I thought to myself, this would make a great video to celebrate 2000 subscribers because I, of course, appreciate every single one of you. I thought, you know, what could happen, right? Even the younger ones jumped off that bridge. For me, this was about overcoming fear, doing something differently, and being thankful on video for reaching 2000 subscribers. I know there are other ways to express my appreciation to you. I could also do like a simple thank you video, but I thought I wanted to do, you know, something special. Yes. My girlfriend thought I was crazy, and I thought I was crazy. Unfortunately, the video of me jumping off that bridge wasn't recorded with audio, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways and explain what exactly happened. So in the beginning of this video, I'm saying that I just reached 2,000 subscribers, which I would like to celebrate. So I walked to the bridge, got on top, and collected myself. I felt super nervous at first, but I was determined to do it. Eventually, I screamed, we have reached 2,000 subscribers! And everybody looked up and I jumped. As you can see, as I jumped off, I flapped my arms like a bird that thought could fly. I even remember a guy telling me to keep my body straight, but during mid-air, I sort of lost control. As I dived up from the water, I was glad I made the jump, but I knew something wasn't right. I couldn't move my left arm. Luckily, because of the cold water, I didn't feel any pain. As I dragged myself out of the water with one arm, I felt the pain slowly moving in. I tried to keep my arms as steady as possible by supporting it uh, with my other hand. As I reached the top, Sina, my girlfriend, thought I was holding something in my hand, and then she realized something wasn't good with my shoulder. Uh, I, I stayed fairly cool because I was kind of sure that my shoulder was dislocated. I still could feel my, my fingers, even though it was the first time that this ever happened to me, and it was clear that I had to go to the hospital. Sina wanted to call an ambulance, but I didn't want that. It would have taken them twice as long, driving uphill and then back down. So we immediately hopped into the car, and it took around 30 minutes to reach the hospital. As we arrived at the emergency, the pain was excruciating. I immediately got treated. They took an x-ray uh, of my shoulder to make sure nothing was broken. And as I have prognosed, the shoulder was luckily just dislocated. Well, it was still bad, but if it would be broken, that would have been much worse. They put me under anesthesia. I was out for about an hour. As I woke up, my shoulder was back to normal and they really did a great job doing it. So I just woke up, as you can see, I'm in the hospital and they relocated my shoulder. I'm all well and that is what counts. I showed them the video afterwards and the doctor said I was crazy and that the height of that bridge uh, is 14 meters. The highest I've ever jumped was 10 meters, but not 14 meters. I guess it's all about how you jump in. If you jump in like a bird, you end up like me. So now I'm back home and this was probably not the smartest thing to do, but you know, shit happens. I guess I should make a video on how to shoot a video with one arm. Let me know if you want to see that. Overall, it's going to be a story that Sina and I will not easily forget. What I learned is that since I had this accident, my girlfriend has treated me really nicely. I guess there is something good to it, huh? 
No, just joking. She has been very supportive since I've started uh, my YouTube channel. And I'm really glad that she helps me out and understands what I'm doing. It's not always easy if you do YouTube, but having someone supportive always helps. So also big thanks to her. All right, guys, by any means, be careful out there and be mindful about what you're doing. That was it for today's video. I hope you liked this story of mine. Just wanted to share this with you. Thanks again for the 2000 subscribers. I really appreciate it and I wish you all well. Take care guys.